this is the you know journey uh, you know new, new, new education policy education for all unesco dakar framework see now what is the utility of this? for from the perspective of upsc what is the utility of this diagram now you know uh, you have made uh, such diagram in your uh, uh, two pages when when uh, writing an essay or you maybe in the your gs2 answer you know in one statement you can tell that you know uh, for example that uh, india's effort toward you know has been manifested through nation education policy 1968 then education for you know all unesco then moscow like sdg4 so that will show that you know uh, tell the professor that okay the, uh, you know you can tell the professor that okay i have the historical sense of what the india you know what india has done in the last say 50 60 years towards primary education this is what very important you know developing a historical sense even the you know question which are you know seems you know uh, very current in nature you know of course uh, contemporary relevance for that you are, you should also show historical uh, historical sense so like this now let us see you know uh, uh, for example this is a fact what is this care c a b e care care with the highest uh, decision making body C uh, Central Advisory Board of Education. Okay, this is in existence since 1935. Highest body, but not statutory. Okay, this is important, but you know, so and anything, you know, it is more like a leg executive instrument. Okay, rather than being statutory. So such, you know, such argument you can make. Whenever you say that to make an executive to statutory, you know, this is a good argument. This is the way bureaucrats speak. Because, you know, uh, if we, uh, you know, if you want to make something everything is statutory you know, legislative that is important that shows that power flows from people okay now let us see what are the important articles and you know judgments related to uh, education you can start with you know uh, there are many you know supreme court cases but you know unication case is important unication versus andhra pradesh in 1993 what happened in this supreme court declared 6 to 14 years free education you know a fundamental right under article 21 see this is important how your your you know how your new articles get inserted in constitution first there is social pressure you know even for fra you uh, uh, for a site act 2006 you see you know uh, there were social pressure you know social awakening you know social awakening will lead to supreme court debates you know then there will be supreme court judgment for example there was a judgment in unification case to make uh, primary education you know a fundamental right on the basis of that the judgment there came constitution amendment uh, abhishek can you see there was you know judgment in 1993 but the 86 constitutional amendment came in 2002 yes sir okay you know can, can, you know can you see the you know logic first social awakening you know then uh, you know uh, uh, supreme court debates judgments then constitution amendment then on the basis of that you know there will be some act on uh, on the basis of act there will be you know uh, rules and regulation policy okay so the base you know the at the core is social pressure social pressure then supreme court you know then uh, constitution amendment you know and then policy document all those things so not only for education this works for every field forest uh, health everywhere so like for transgender transgender rights uh, yeah yeah every, you know and every every field you know yeah. so so the uh, what is important is you must uh, you know an aspirant must know the logic you know that uh, how that you know how that pressure is building you know how that particular act came into the picture okay so this is fine so what article 21a provided it provided right right based education you know, like for similarly Mandrega is you know right based employment, so all these acts are you know right based. You know now it is a fundamental right. Okay, now we will see what are the important uh, articles in uh, provisions in constitution. So Abhishek, you have that constitution with you? Yes, sir. Now let us read Article fifteen four. Article, sir. Article fifteen four. Fifteen. Article, okay. Yeah, four. 
so article 154 nothing in this article or in clause 2 uh, of article 29 shall prevent the state from making any special provisions for the advancement of any socially and educationally backward class classes of citizens or for the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribes okay now see you know this see now this is an article so what what is the problem you there has to be you know special provision for so, socially and educationally backward classes right like you should now in upsc if you write a statement like this okay you know that shows ki okay you have you know sympathy towards vulnerable section in there you know you will not be able to get you know code uh, full article you can write like this at as uh, you know for example you can say national education policy is moving towards you know towards uh, the aim of article 154 article 154 which seeks special provision for social and educational uh socially and educationally backward sections so this way you have connected you know a constitution provision with a you know a policy document is that clear avishek yes sir so you know uh, uh, i'm just giving you i'm just giving you an example this is the way you know your mind should function so when uh, n- now you have read that article i would recommend you know to every aspirant who will who will watch this lecture in future make it have it you know, keep the constitution copy with you and write that article uh, uh abhishek that article is with you right yes sir now please write no problem you know we will uh, wait for uh, one minute okay sir. article 154 special provision for socially and educationally backward Yes, sir. So, Abhishek, you know, earlier you only read. Now you have written, right? You know, if you will, you know, summarize this article in your notes and write it three, four times. You know, I am very sure on that final day when you have to write your essay or GS two answer, invariably this, you know, this summarized article, you know, you would be able to write there. Okay. Yes. Yes. So that's why I say, you know, fifty lakh words is very, very important. You know, for Uh, you know as we discussed in the last lecture if you can write 50 like words okay 50 like words it contains you know i can say is is equal to 50 like word so this is what you have to do. but you know here i have told you the quantum of work one has to do but there is also to be quality when i say quality for example you know aspirant should write at least 8000 words per day in two sittings and you know at least one sitting should be of you know 6 to 7 hours you know once you suppose in the morning or whenever you start you know do not take any break just read for 5 6 7 hours continuously you know do not take any you know food break or wash something like no your mind should be concentrated you know if you can concentrate your mind for you know 6 7 hours and you keep on doing for you know 8 9 months you will see the change you know so this is what it is now Abhishek, we will go to the next article. Okay, yes. that is article Article Forty Five. What it says? It provides for early childhood care and education, zero to six years. Yes, sir. It is a part of your DPSP. Okay. True. Yes. Sir. Now please read that article. Article Forty Five, provision for early childhood care. and education to children below the age of 6 years the state shall endeavor to provide early childhood care and education for all children until they complete the age of 6 years okay how you know how is it flowing in the language you have to feel that language right and uh, again i always say like reading lakshmikant is fine but you know very quickly you have to move from lakshmikant to you know books like didi vasu and swat kashyap and more importantly to the bear act if you write you know these article dpsp you know what is given in the constitution if we can summarize the dpsp in you know one page and you know you know and then write it four five times you know you will see in the G, when the day when you are going to write gs2 and gs4 paper same language you you know you you will be able to write there okay now obviously we will go to the next article 
Article 46. Yes, sir. Article 46. Promotion of education, educational and economic interest of scheduled castes and scheduled tribes and other weaker sections. The state shall promote with special care the educational and economic interests of the weaker sections of the people and in particular of the scheduled caste and the scheduled tribes and shall protect them from social injustice and all forms of exploitation. Can you see, you know, you know, not this, you know, this, this provision for, you know, is not only the part of fundamental rights, it is also part of DPSP. Right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, how concerned our, you know, constitution father were, not only for Article 15.4, it is also in, you know, both. Right? So, you know, you can make observation like this, you know, okay, that protection of, you know, vulnerable sections is, or, you know, or advancement of uh, their socially and educationally backward section is not only part of fundamental DPSP, but also fundamental rights. Okay? So, uh, this is what it is. Now, let us move to next article, Article 30. Sir, uh, just wanted to ask one question. Yeah, yeah, sure, please. So, uh, so, uh, and it's more of polity or probably uh, education only. So, if they have already, uh, you know, have if they already had like fifteen uh, four, then why did they go for forty six? And uh, fifteen one, maybe it might be because fifteen four was added by the first first amendment act of nineteen fifty one. So. Uh, maybe uh, in the DPFSP they must have added, but to concretize it, they must have added it to, to 15.4 by first con constitutional oh, okay. amendment. Yeah, Abhishek, you know, th uh, this question, you know, uh, this is so important question, I think uh, it will need uh, at least, you know, uh, if I have to speak only, I would like to speak or at least for, you know, one, and, one hour. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah, you know, this is very, you know, very dense question. You know, yes. uh, it, it will, you know, it, it, if I have to speak, you know, it will reflect all the constitution history of uh, India. What we will do, you know, first, you know, once we have gone through some part of education and all, all those yes, things. Yes, then, then we will probably come back to this. 50% of answer will it's come to you, right? Yes, so, yes. But sir. this, you know, this is the, you know, the such, such, such question reflect ideas. Okay. Such, yes. you know, uh, okay. Now, okay, now please go to the uh, article 30. Yes, sir. Uh, so both the sections one and two both yeah you know just started yeah uh, right of minorities to establish and administer educational institutions uh, 30 clause one uh, all minorities whether based on religion or language shall have the right to establish and administer educational institutions of their choice uh, article one sub clause a in making any law providing for the compulsory education a acquisition of any property of an educational institution established and administered by a minority referred to clause referred to in clause one the state shall ensure that the amount fixed or by determined under such law for the acquisition of such property is such as would not restrict or abrogate the right guaranteed under that clause okay. Uh, yeah yeah okay so now can you see what the you know first two two lines are important it is providing uh, you know, not only religious, but also linguistic minority. Okay. Yes, sir. So, you know, that thing, can you read article 29 uh, to uh, just go to article 29? Yes, sir. Now just, uh, just please read that. Uh, 29 to. Yeah, both, you know, one and two. Okay. Protection of uh, interest of minorities. Uh, section one, any section of the citizens residing in the territory of India or any part thereof have a having a distinct language script or culture of its own shall have the right to conserve the same uh, clause two no citizen shall be denied admission into any educational institution maintained by a state or receiving aid out of the state funds on grounds only of religion race caste language or any of them yeah you know this is just you know abhishek feel article 29 to read it again and you tell me what you get from that read the language no citizen shall be yes please go through no citizen shall be denied admission into any educational institution maintained by the state or receiving aid out of state funds on grounds only of religion race caste language or any of them yeah see now they are talking about the money they are talking about the minority you know right rights okay yes but yes. in that there is a article 29 2 
that no citizen shall be denied admission. Can can, can you read that language? Even in the yes, yes. Right? So you know, on you know, it, then you know we, when we will go through more articles, you will see there is a conflict between Article Twenty Nine and Article Thirty. Do, do you feel that? Yes. Sir. Okay. Article Thirty is providing for minority education, in, right? Mm -hmm. But similarly, Article Twenty Nine Two. Article 29, which was for minority education, of that clause, clause two is saying, no citizen should be denied admission, right? Mm -hmm. On you know, on this argument, UPSC has asked three, four questions. What those questions were, you know, we, we will discuss. But uh, the conflict between Article 29.2 and Article 30, you know, it is a part of long constitutional debate. Dr. Suvas Kashya, D.D. Vasu, you know, they have written on, you know, you know, I think um, many articles on that. Okay. Okay. So when you see a UPSC question, for example, there was a question I think in 2018, whether you know uh, a, a SCST reservation can be provided in uh, minority education or not. If you remember in 2018, they asked this question. Yes. Yes to. Yes. So you have to you know you have to feel you know why this UPSC is asking this question because Article 29.2 says there can be no you know no discrimination, right? Yes, sir. but uh, on the other hand, Article Thirty provide you know protects minority education interest. Okay, so but uh, I I just given you an idea, but uh, what is the debate? How that we will see you know when we will discuss uh, polity. Okay. 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 So, now let us move to Article Fifty One A K. Fundamental duties. Duties. Yeah. It shall be the duty of every citizen of India who is a parent or guardian to provide opportunities for education to his children or as the case may be ward between the age of 6 to 14, 6 and 14 years. 6 to 14 years, right. So it is the duty of parents. Okay. Yes, sir. So, you know, this once you pay in prelims, you know, they said, you know, just quoted this uh, article and say whether it is a part of fundamental duties or, you know, very simple. So you have to remember this, you know, now zero to six, you know, zero to six, you know, education is now a yeah? DPSP, you know, DPSP, right? Okay. DPSP, right? Six to 14 compulsory education is now fundamental, right? Article 21A, right? Yes. Sir. Article 21A, you know, it, it has make right based approach. Okay. So now it similarly it is in the fundamental duty the, the duty is on the parents so uh, you have to feel you know uh, article 21a art, article 50 51a k and article 40 sorry 45 these three are you know related okay now now this is fine now there is a right to education act uh, i would recommend you to go through that act and summarize it but of it two provisions are important what is that 25%, you know, it's section 12, 12A provide 25% reservation for economically weaker section in private schools. Okay. And another is section 11, which provides for early childhood care. Okay, Vishak, these two provisions, but uh, I, I would recommend to read that uh, article, sorry, that act and summarize it in, you know, one, one or two paragraph. Okay, sir. Okay, so, but uh, see now, these points are very important. This is the crux, you know, the, I, I would say this is, these are even important, more important than what the policy document says, because these are constitutional provisions. These, these should be on your tips. You know, in examination, you know, just uh, the, whenever they talk about, uh, you know, education, you know, immediately, you know, uh, you know, Article 46, 15, 4, Constitution Amendment 86, uh, Article 51, you know, they should spontaneously come in, in your answers. Okay. Yes, sir. So this is important. Now we will see, you know, what the uh, national constitutional, you know, review commission said. They, they, I always say, you know, although they were, you know, chairman of the Dr. Venkat Chaliya, so Dr. Swas Kashyap has majorly written this. You know, that kind of recommendation Dr. Swas Kashyap has given, you know, they hold even today. If you, you know, you write the point like that, you know. So now let us see what he said. He said. Recom recommend what he recommended 0 to 14, not only 6 to 14 under Article 21A. 
can you see what the supreme court said you know supreme court made 6 to 14 as a free education fundamental right under uh, article 21 and on the basis of that came 86, 86 constitution amendment act 2002 you know which provided for 6 to 14 what what the nation constitution in commission is saying not only 6 to 14 but also 0 to 14 right abhishek yes sir, yes, sir. and yes. that is and that is what the national education policy also uh, yes you know you know that's why the intelligent you know the the uh, dr swas kashyap is like a poet you know he can uh, you know he can visualize the future you know bureaucrats are you know like bureaucrats you know they are taking you know what he said in 2002 uh, you know they are thinking in 2019 so that's why you need it na so uh, you know a poet can visualize the future so uh, so you know 0 to 4 is important and for scst girl 18 years see when you write something for scst girl you know upsc will you know definitely you know i am very sure they are going to you know, reward you for that because so many time they have you know in uh, 2017 i think there was a question you know uh, you know what uh, upliftment of uh, women from the one level section has not been sufficient you know there there you know now women you know women empowerment is there but from one level section you know they are still suffering so you have to you know understand why upsc is asking this question because you know uh, situation of scst girls are you know women are very pathetic in there okay so 18 years for them okay now let us move to both kotari kotari commission in 1966 Okay, now I have written this here. Both Kotari Commission in 1966 and T.S. Subramaniam in 2016, they recommended 6% GDP in education. Okay. Yes. Now you know, as you remember, for 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 the second Constitution Amendment Act, wherever I write CAA, that is Constitution Amendment Act, CAA. Okay, it transferred education to concurrent list. Okay, so this is important, and you remember, 42nd Constitution Amendment came in. 1976 okay now there is one more constitutional act that is article 350a okay as you said you know not only for religious minority but also linguistic minority article you know 350a for linguistic what it says primary education in mother tongue for linguistic minority okay yes. so this is now you know we have more or less covered constitution provisions related to education and important elements uh, you know recommendation of uh, national constitution and convention and major uh, you know major conferences so uh, this is the way you know uh, i'm very sure you know this is the uh, all these things uh, this is the way you also, you should also make your two pages now let us see what uh, national education policy 2016 said uh, 2019 is also saying the more or less same thing now abhishek please observe what uh, we have done here we have written a statement like recognizes criticality of education for socio economic transformation okay plus inculcating values providing skills plus integrative force in society foster social cohesion and national identity okay now we you know here we have taken key words from that report but this key statement for example this uh, phrase we have taken after reading one or two pages okay so once you uh, you will also you know uh, do like that and uh, you know after writing it and write it write this thing four or five times you will inculcate language like that so, is that fine abhishek yes sir so th- that is why too you know and it is very simple you know when you write like you know this recognizes criticality of education for socio economic transformation you know it is sending a message to professor okay this language is you know of administrator language language of an administrator okay role of education in pro- uh, promoting equitable and just society okay cannot be over emphasized you know education is a you know big balancer equalizer gandhi called primary education an equalizer okay now sometime people you know uh, use quotes Education policy has used this quote. Uh, so this Pujite Raja Vidwan Sir posed it. So some you know you may also use quote like that, but uh, you know that that should make sense. You know when you use any quote or you know any saying, 
uh, what I would recommend, you know, first you, you know, write the logic and then you say, okay, according to this logic, we can say that Sajay Sposte Rajan, you know, something like that. You know, in vacuum, you should not write a code there. Okay, okay. Is that fine, Avishay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, you know, when you, when I asked you what are the problems of education, you mentioned that, you know, the quality is the same. If, but for example, in examination, you write like this, new education policy has identified three critical issues. You know, the acronym is EAQ, that is equity, accessibility, and quality. Of these equity and accessibility, we have, you know, fulfilled, but quality is still missing. Okay. Equity you and accessibility that. majorly in the primary health, uh, we have... Yeah. Uh, yeah, right. yeah. But but uh, in uh, quality, you know, quality is missing. Yes. You know, yes. quality. So if you know, if you like this, you know, it's you know, it shows, it shows not only your understanding of education policy, but your language. Okay. While accessibility, infra and liter literacy has improved, but inequity and poor quality is disturbing concern. Okay. Not an exaggeration to say that our education system is is in disarray. You know, suppose you have to criticize something, you may criticize like this. You know, this is the way bureaucrat uh, criticize, you know, uh, functioning, government functioning. Okay, do not outrightly, you know, criticize or sense uh, negative, you know, th this is the way, not an exaggeration to say that our education system is in disarray. Okay, similarly for, you know, if you want to criticize health related, you can, say, you know, you adopt this language. Not an exaggeration to say that our health system especially primary health system is not serving, you know, say, uh, bottom of the pyramid. Okay. True, sir. Similarly, teacher is the pivot around with the education system revolves. Yeah, that, you know, that, you know, the Justice Department Committee also said, you know, teacher is the main thing. On the totem pole of state management hierarchy, education comes relatively low, both in status and recognition. Yes, you know, you say, who are, you know, very few would like to be education secretary, you know, everybody is interested in defense secretary or, you know, finance secretary like that. Okay, both in the state and central. The Indian, okay, now this, you, what this statement is, the Indian child is as resourceful and intelligent as in the world. You know, this is, this is a statement you are making, you know, you know, in, Indian child are, you know, uh, Maybe, you know, they are not stunted, you know, like that, but, you know, they are equally capable. Okay, in all aspects. So, this is what it is. Now, we will see what are the major recommendations of uh, new education policy. First is invest 6% in GDP. Okay. You see, you have to remember, when you cite 6% in GDP, you know, uh, if you get a recommendation like that, if for example, UPSC asks what, uh, what are the recommendation you suggest for uh, improvement of, uh, if you say use figure like 6% rather than 5 or 7%, so 6% will send a message to professor, ki, okay, uh, you know, the aspirant is convergent with what the Kotari Commission said or New Education Policies 2016 said. Okay. Second is Indian Educational Service. Indian education service, although the central services, you know, all India services are not taken, are generally taken with a grain of salt in the state. But again, you know, uh, uh, you, you can write like that. Okay. You know, it should be empowered one, right? It should support federalism, strengthen federalism. Then teacher education test, mandatory, because some private, private schools are, you know, are not conducting that. You know, this will ensure uh, Credibility uh, no, of teachers declare preschool pre education a right. You know, similarly, so suppose this recommendation plus you know what uh, whatever you know Article Twenty One A is. If you include this recommendation and Article Twenty One A, this is what the National uh, Constitution Review Commission said in you know zero to fourteen years. Similarly. Compulsory certificate for teachers, okay, in public or private. No detention policy. Now, no, no detention policy, you know, uh, is a little bit, you know, there's an argument going on on this, whether, you know, uh, again, that is, you know, stress on child versus quality in education. So what uh, 
education policy to run through recommended no detention policy only till class fifth okay so after that you know education standard has to be maintained then on board de demand on board on sorry on demand board exams okay uh, you know uh, uh, this will you know this will take a stress from a student you know uh, because there is you know in before board exams you know they are under pressure so that's why they are recommended on demand board exams midday meal for secondary schools too okay not only primary but secondary school then top 200 foreign universities can open campuses you know of uh, uh, this uh, so now here i would say you know sometime in some particular test series or like that you know they are focusing too much on one particular aspect for example you know they will say whether foreign university should be allowed in india or not you have to understand upsc will never ask question like this you know upsc question when i say never it means never you know although never it may be, might be you know a very uh, harsh word but yes i can because if you analyze last 10 15 years question of upsc they are you know broad based upsc question is nothing but the you know your uh, your two pager your full understanding your historical sense of india's education they will never go in a particular aspect you know like that so when you are uh, you know writing uh, some test series or uh, here and there so be cautious first uh, write the upsc question paper now gender parity index in education is greater than 1 can can you wish can you tell you know how come gender parity index is greater than 1 uh sir no idea sir okay see uh, what is happening uh, you know you know simple it means you know what it says you know it is you know female enrollment is more than male till class 12th you know what is the meaning of this gender parity right gender yes. parity you know, comparison of female so it simply means female enrollment is more than you know male till class 12th but after that you know situation you know uh, there is a disarray you know situation worsens okay now this is very this you know i think uh, this recommendation you know one should write at the top network of library in villages to empower local bodies you know you know that article 243 uh, g for you know for you know for village uh, panchayats and article 243 w for you know uh, urban local bodies you know these are the these are these three articles are important so network of libraries you know that will empower local bodies you know that will you know kind of a send intellectual revolution across india in us there is a, you know in us there is no place in us where you know uh, you cannot find a highway within 20 km you know similarly you know india can adopt you know there should not be a place in india uh, you know where should not be a library within say 10 km if you write like this you know uh, you know that's that's you know uh, that will uh, send intellectual revolution in india so network of libraries then what the education committee 1938 sought to implement nayi taleem of you know mkg gandhi ji then came letter sergeant plan 1944 to indianize education you know indianize education is simply you know uh, rather than serve, serving british administrative machinery that education plan plan was to you know serve india and especially in vernacular language then rt right to education 2020 sorry 2010 what it seeks tend okay now see this recommendation is important what it says tend to 30 to 1 teacher people ratio at school level not only or at district or block level uh, you know can you tell me why 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 they have sought at school level not on district and block level what, what is the problem sir maybe because there are lesser number of schools at block and the district level so uh, there might be too many children to be catered by one teacher 
Yeah, so, so similarly, you know, a, a, you know, a report may say that the so and so so district X Y Z has thirty to one teacher people ratio, but you know, maybe some schools of this particular you know district maybe have you know are well served. They have let's say, let's say like ratio as low as fifteen to one, and there are some schools you know they, which have ratio like sixty to one. Okay. okay, you know this is not healthy. You know this is not a healthy picture, right? Every mm. school should have a you know thirty to one. You know then only all section of the society and all schools of the society will be equally served. That's why they seek you know this uh, teacher people ratio at school level, not only at district or block level. Okay. So now okay now see this recommend this observation, not even a new education policy. But also, you know, I'm about to say in uh, India, uh, uncertain glory. They mean, 92 lakh children out of a school. If we add drop dropouts to it, then the number would be around three crore. Can you see how big a problem it is? Yes, sir. You know, three crore children. You know, include you know, 90, 92 lakh uh, have been never been to a school. And three crore, you know, drop out means, you know, after fifth or eighth class like that, okay? You know, three crore, uh, you know, are not in school. This is a big problem, right? Yes, sir. So uh, you can make uh, this observation in your essays or your GS2 answers. Next is some Siksha Vyan operationalized in 2001, sought universalization of education. Now, this is the term, you know, this phrase you have, you have to use in an answer universalization of education okay and bridge all gender gap and so social category gaps okay see they're talking about both gender gaps as well as social category gaps by 2007 okay but target got you know but target could not be fulfilled okay so you you know you so now if you make make you know observation this even in 2020 this is fine because you know this is a you know subsection uh, ban is still going on and it was its target True. Okay, to fulfill you know not only gender gap but also social category gaps similarly next is subsection abhiyan sort comes community based ownership of school you know community based ownership of school you know was, was also a major theme in your Education for UNESCO program, you know, it also sought. You know, uh, in fact, whatever recommendation, what National Constitution Review Commission or New Education Policy has given, more or less same recommendation was given by you know all these uh, frameworks, the uh, car framework uh, or your Moscow recommendation are more or less same. You just have to you know change them according to the you know country context or. You know, like that. Okay, now there was a Justice Verma community on teacher training. Justice Verma, you know, have given, uh, been the chairman of many committees. Uh, one was teacher training, and uh, one one more committee where he was the chairman. Uh, sir, Nirbhaya, Nirbhaya case also, I think he was. Yeah, yeah, but what was the name of that committee? But anyway, I've forgotten. Uh, anyway, we will we'll see that. Okay. Uh, I think amend, uh, the amendment to CRPC, something like that. Okay, you will see. What What are the major recommendations? Now you focus on the language. You know, this, this language, these words have been taken from that original uh, report. 90% of teacher education institute. Okay. Prime. For example, in UPSC, you can write TET. You know, TEI. This is, you know, this is an acronym which a professor will understand. You know, if you write TEI, Okay, they're private. Okay, then political patronage. This word you have to use. Political patronage in GS2. Okay, even in GS4 you can use. Political patronage is a you know word running across major government documents. Okay, uh, this is the word a bureaucrat can use. Uh, rather than using po political interference or something like that, use political patronage. Teach. Okay, you know it is happening. You know why they are private because you know. Politi political patronage, you know, that's uh, due to that 90% of uh, teacher education institutes are private. In, in fact, they're owned by politicians, you know, that petty or politician like ward, 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 this and ward, that. Okay. 
teacher education to be part of university education program you know this is the, is the can, can you we should do you understand the meaning of this recommendation uh yes teacher sir, probably what what it say you know what is the meaning of teacher training to be the part of university education program probably that a teacher education is not separate from the whole uh, holistic view of edu university education so it is to be integrated like uh, with the advancement of teacher like when the teacher learns the student also learns and with the dynamics changing the teacher training is equally important as uh, the as 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 uh, not just delivering education but also teacher training is important yeah you know, it will bring will bring quality exactly See, uh, you know when you know university you know the professor will train you know teachers primary school secondary school teachers you know it will bring quality rather than you know some private uh, teacher education institute okay but what is the problem why it is not becoming part of uh, university education program when you see observe the society why it is not happening i have to think on this okay you know just yeah just a minute sir so probably because there is no synchronization integration between uh, the two levels yeah that is you know that you can but again see that is social attitude you know uh, uh, although you, you should not write this in the examination you know uh, you can write but you know different language see the why the professor would like to train a primary school teacher you know they will feel like it is an inferior job right sense we can write sensitivity towards uh, you know yes you can write like you know uh, for example you know uh, university uh, university are not recognizing they are for example there is a corporate social responsibility similarly there is a university social responsibility right yeah uh, this is a important term which you will find in many documents so you can say the you know idea is same that uh, see the crux is that that uh, Officer, do not want to tra train a primary school teacher. But how you can write? University are not recognizing their university social responsibility, and their one social responsibility is to train, you know, primary education teachers. So that's why it is not becoming teacher training is not becoming part of university education program. Okay. Yes, Similarly, sir, it can be said that the quality, the quality enhancement is just being tried in silos, not in a holistic fashion. so unless uh, unless at the primary level uh, or a secondary level uh, the quality is maintained the that that would percolate and uh, you know go to the university level unless the primary and secondary level uh, uh, level yes, do not have yes, quality sir. it won't yes sir, because like. till the foundation is not strong you know how, exactly how, you know that, that, that's a very important observation right okay uh, but again see what happened in india it's like a pyramid right at bottom you know one at the top one lakh student are there right if you see india's structure those get world class quality education you know even dr amartya sen has said you know these are the you know student the, their fathers and forefathers you know they govern india and the, even only one lakh who get world quality education at the bottom you know bottom is only you know run of the mill so you know uh, the top institute are serving only one lakh like student you know uh, but the you know the like university which come under rashtriya shiksha uchchhatar shiksha shiksha abhiyan or sarv shiksha abhiyan primary schools you know not qual quality is not there so uh, this is you know this is the major problem of india in india there is quality but only for you know limited one lakh like people one lakh like student okay now they have to become thinking practitioner you know this is a term you can use teacher has to become thinking practitioner okay similarly national council for teacher education should read de register teacher education you know th this is a statutory body statutory executive you know i think uh, statutory only you know this council should you know so uh, de register uh, teacher education is which, which is proliferated then redesigning of teacher education courses okay see can you see the recommendation you know general only but uh, uh, th this is the language you have to use you know like uh, political patronage 
a teacher training part of your university education program thinking practitioner similarly first training is to be in the face to face mode okay moocs moocs and all that can work but at a later stage not at the first day first stage should be face to face teacher performance and teacher audit audit for teachers then organization is structuring of national council for teacher education ncte okay okay Vishak, any, any doubt so far no sir okay so these are the recommendation now national education policy has also mentioned about three hours okay learning has to be around three hours what they define you know three skills uh, you know for example for example cat, uh, cat also tests you know three skills only um, logic mathematics and reading similarly that, that three hours are reading writing this are and arithmetic okay then uh, they also recommend to provide crutches so that girl attend schools rather than care caregiver only see what is the, that is the problem with you know uh, our society you know uh, girls are asked to you know look after the you know babies rather than sending them to school especially in you know rural areas so that's why you know women suffer okay children suffer so uh, providing crutches will you know will uh, you know will provide an avenue for girl education then this is sub siksha abhiyan ssa sub siksha abhiyan what is it universalization of ele ele elementary education as mandated by the 86th constitution amendment okay so what you can say sub siksha abhiyan is fulfilling the you know 80 86th constitution amendment uh, dream that was universalization of elementary education okay yes so now the vidyalayas they are 63 schools and they are spending uh, three uh, uh, approximately 3300 crore this is a fact you know we need not to worry about too much but this is fine you know at least you have an idea in india there are approximately 660 now the vidyalayas okay almost one in every district other than tamil nadu so what so what you can say recommendation like that see now the vidyalaya should come from you know should proliferate from district level to block level this is a recommendation you can say right yes you know every block should have navodaya vidyalayas you know uh, eklabhya vidyalayas or you know or maybe uh, sante school there are many so you know these schools will help the you know society to get quality education now let us see what the mid day meal mid day meal is just you know central sector scheme okay what is it have two point of objectives in fact in fact this was the upsc question what is the upsc question how mid day meal is fulfilling its twin objective of increasing enrollment you know when i put arrow like this you know this arrow this means increasing enrollment as well as increasing nutrition okay, okay? you know uh, th their idea was then when you will provide food to children they will come to school okay so this is what so uh, you know you can say like that you know uh, mid day meal you know is towards achieving you know is is on the way to you know fulfill it to an ob objective but not you know not reach the destination okay this cover government government aided alternative education madrasas okay madrasas under sub siksha abhiyan you know can you see the reach of this mid day meal program okay it has been integrated with national food security act 2013 okay and now this is important you know it provide of food security allowance any idea what it is what it is sir if a person if a student is denied uh, food then uh, he has to uh, be you know yeah, given yeah. Money. in in case you know you know they are not able to serve yeah so then for some to... there is a you know, there is a clause in that if for two and three days at a stretch hmm. then you know food security allowance has to be provided yes sir. okay so like that now these are the figures we have, which we have taken from key indicators of education 2015 i would recommend everyone to you know develop a habit of reading key indicators because once you become bureaucrat invariably you have to rely on that, that document only you know uh, for example a district collector you know rely too much on district census report you know district census district census handbook we they call it census handbook you need not to read that you know now in during your preparation but district census handbook if you want to know about any districts of india you know uh, sufficient information is given in this 
Similarly, key indicators of education, policy documents, these are very important. You know, so uh, develop that habit during your preparation only. What it says, let us see, you know, it says literacy during education was 12%. Sorry, independence. Literacy, literacy during independence was 12%. See, Japan was fully literate in 1910. Can you see the gap between India and Japan? Yes, sir. Fully literate, you know, uh, universalization of education in 1910. Primary education, not higher education. So, but India is... Okay. Now, let us see overall literacy. Overall literacy is how much? They count for 7 plus H. That is 75%. And for rural areas, it is 72. Urban areas, it is 86%. Okay. Uh, see, uh, Abhishek, all these figures you will not remember there. But what is the idea? From the facts, your mind should graduate towards ideas. Okay? Yes. Sir. There you have to remember, okay, there is a gap of, you know, there is a wide gap, say 15% in rural and urban literacy. Okay? And, you know, you know, almost, uh, say, 16% gap, you know, in the literacy of uh, male and female. You know, uh, for example, you know, female is almost representing rural areas and males are almost representing urban areas. Okay? No, sir. Then enrollment up to class 8, you know, for girls is more than boys. Okay, Th that is for, you know, gen gender parity index, we, we, gender parity enrollment as we saw. Okay, then graduation and above. In rural areas, see, what do we, you know, how dismal is the picture? Male graduation is 4.5%, female is 2.3%. Right? Yes, sir. Can you see how dismal is the picture? Only to, in fact, you know, anyone who would come graduate, why will change rural areas? You come to urban areas only, right? More of the chances are high. Okay. Then, urban areas, it is 17%, female 13%. Okay. Then, Okay, now this is this. So this indicates uh, when you so, so we have talked about the EAQ, right? Equity, accessibility. Now accessibility dimension you can you know substantiate with this fact. What it says, both this is both rural and urban. Ninety percent, ninety nine percent households have schools within two kilometer distance. This is an observation in government document. What it says, both rural and urban. Ninety nine percent household have a school within two kilometers. This makes sense. Uh, do you observe it, you know, in, in uh, around you? Uh, yes, sir. I think, uh, you know, we generally see a school, you know, within two kilometer distance. Yes, sir. The, 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 because the government has been using schools as other, uh, you know, for other purposes also. Like now they have common service centers, but otherwise, like for census and other government schemes also, they have been using the infrastructure of the schools itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, so that's fine. Okay. Okay. Now, this is, you know, this is a, now, so this is not a fact. This is an, you know, idea. If you write like this, South Asian literacy rate, South Asian literacy rate are closer to sub-Sahara rather than Asian level. Similarly, in health, you know, our mortality rate are, you know, child mortality rate are closer to sub-Saharan level rather than, you know, Southeast Asia level or Asian level. Okay. So in education and health, we are close to sub-Saharan, you know, rather than Asia. Similarly, what, what say the Vid Vidyanjali Yodhna, improve quality of education, okay, by, in government school by taking help from private sector and community. Okay, you know, this is this shows the integration of, you know, uh, private and public sector. Now, see, there will be many schemes, uh, you know, here running, you know, running here and there. So one has not to, you know, not to be worried about uh, seeing the scheme and how much allotment and all those things. Those are facts. Uh, now, see, if you observe nowadays in market, you know, people have also started teaching courses on schemes. Just see, you know, you know, their intellectual level. Mm -hmm. so person running is, you know, course on schemes, you know, how the, you know, so that you have to, you know, you have to be very, very safe from such courses. You have to, you know, segregate facts from ideas. You know, in newspaper, you see 10 scheme, don't worry about that. 
Once you have read policy document, your understanding is clear. You know what India's education problems are. UPSC is going to just test that. Don't worry about this scheme and that scheme in the state or you know. Okay. okay. Now let us move see other facts. Midday meal and be looking for you know uni universal primary education in term of both enrollment and completion of primary education. Okay, this is important. Not only in enrollment, but also, M sorry, MDG. This was MDG. Okay, uh, both enrollment as well as complete completion of okay primary education by 2015. Okay, then second second goal was in MDG and MDG two goal was gen gender equity in primary and secondary education by 2015. But both these two goals remain unrealized. We could not fulfill that. Okay, because in primary education, by 2015, they were not universal primary education. You know, at least in completion of, you know, if they, you know, why three, it's still three crore, we just saw now, three crore student are out of his schools, right? Yes, yes. So how it could be, you know, universal. 92 lakh student have never attended and three crore dropouts. So, you know, how it could be universal. Similarly, gender equity is not there in primary and secondary education. So both these two goals remain unrealized. This this dream, this is, this statement you can write even till 2025 in your essay papers because this is an idea. What you will say, for, for example, SDG, SDG era will run till 2030, right? 2015 and 30. If you're com commenting on SDG, you know, say SDG for edu quality education, SDG four quality education and say SDG one no uh, no poverty SDG two zero hunger okay or say SDG three good health what you will say we remain you know we could not fulfill MDG one and two goal okay you know but we should you know we should uh, you know uh, try our best to fulfill SDG four so this will send a message to professor okay uh, aspirant has historical sense he he knows uh, not only uh, what happened in MDG, but also, you know, has a vision for SDG4. Okay. Now, for class one, two, okay, now see this picture. See how this key indicator has captured. Uh, this will make you, you know, uh, this is important, you know. See these figures. Okay, now when you mention in UPSC about surveys, so, you know, people mention survey like SR, like all those things. But first, try to mention government surveys. Okay, what what are the government surveys? There are two surveys. Okay, first is UDISC. If you read New Education Policy, they have mentioned it four or five times. Okay, these are the survey. What it is? Unified District. Okay, this is the from Unified District Information System for Education. Okay, this is the survey. You know, government is conducting. As a you know, as a UPSC aspirant, you have to quote this survey. Rather than you know, SR you can uh, SR surveys or Pratham surveys you can quote, but I would recommend first to quote this because this is what you know, uh, Dr. T. S. T. S. Subramaniam and uh, you know, New Education Policy 2019 has quoted. Okay, Vishal, is there uh, fine? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Similarly, for higher education, there's a survey like AISHE, All India Surveys on Higher Education, because see, invariably 90% student quote SR. But when you quote this, it will send a different message. Okay, what this survey says, there are 14 lakh schools till class what first to eighth. Okay. 11 lakhs are public school and 3 lakhs are private school. Okay, this is fine. In public school, there are 11 to approximate 12 crore student. Okay. In 3 3 uh, 3 lakh public school, there are approximately 8.5 crore student okay but see the number of teachers teachers here are 47 lakh and here 33 lakh now please tell me you know uh, what is what is the what is happening here what 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 is your idea you get from this so the uh, pupil to teacher ratio is uh, uh, is worse for uh, public schools rather than private schools okay now so, so first see you know first you should get that okay is still the primary, you know, public education plays a major role. Correct. Right? Because there are 11 lakh school, but 
at the same time private is also becoming a major player because see, if you see the number of student they are 12 crore but here is 8.5 crore right yes sir yes. so you know in, in in three lakh schools there are you know 8.56 crore this means you know those private schools are you know larger in capacity right because in you know in three lakh schools they you have 8.5 Five six crore student. Here in eleven lakh school, you have only, you know, almost double. I would, I would say, or I think or almost triple. Okay, but teacher, teacher and teacher student ratio are almost you know or more or less same. Here you know if you divide eleven point nine twelve upon forty seven lakh or this this ratio should not differ too much. Okay, but yes, the situation is not good in both. You know, not happy situation. So okay. we can say that the dependence on private uh, education system is like Rising. tendency is more towards private, and that could be due to the trust and the quality. Uh, that, like this depicts that quality issue that people have, like parents have for their children, and they do not want to send their children to public schools. Uh, actually, I would recommend not to write the statement like this in UPSC. Okay, first. No, thing, no. I, I, I'm just, I'm just analyzing, not, uh, not okay, saying okay. that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, okay. See, just I, I use the word happy situation. Uh, mm -hmm. I, so never use you know word like happy in UPSC. Okay, so yeah. I, word, so okay. Now coming to that, you you, you know you can from this data, you can say, you know, onus on private uh, schools is rising, you know, or maybe you know, uh, uh, you know, but uh, private school may not be you know fulfilling their social obligation, okay, because they have. You know they have profit profit motive. For mm -hmm. that, you know, private public schools has to fulfill their social obligation as per SDG four, as per new education policy, as per our Article fifteen four. Okay, fifteen four, Article forty five, forty six. Okay. So your you know your answer should be flowing. You know, once you see that our public schools, our primary education has to fulfill the dream of you know Article forty five, forty six. Professor, you understand? Okay. Now. Retention level. Retention level is you know, primary school is eighty four percent. Okay, this is fine. You know, but it's, you know, mainly girls. You know, if you see, you know, if you analyze this data, go you know to the basic. You know, can you say who is suffering more? You know, have you any idea? You know, out of the sixty percent, majorly who are, who are not in the school. Majorly, it is the girls. Like whenever girls, there yes. is a family situation. Uh, the girls are asked to drop out of the schools. Yeah, girls and girls from the you know vulnerable section. True. You know they are the most disadvantaged section of uh, India. You know they, their situation is you know uh, uh, if we can say really minority girls, right? Minority girls, you know poor girls, vulnerable section girl. You know they are the most disadvantaged section. Okay. Till elementary education, you know, it becomes sixty-six point seven percent. Okay. That is four in every ten children enrolled in grade one was. Leaving school till class eight. Can you see? You know, four in every ten children they are leaving school by class eight. Yes, you know, yes. for those who have completed MBA, you know, for them, <laughs> just you know, see how bad the situation. situation yeah. You know, yes. Okay, now this is what I want to mention in UPSC code. This, you know, first you know you can mention National Achievement Survey, UDIAC. You know, unified district information system. Yes, sir. Okay. Then only go to you know, survey like S S R. Right. See, these are the NGO surveys, so civil society surveys. You know, you can use the such surveys along with your nation. You know, government surveys. But first, try to quote government surveys. Okay. In for example, in newspaper, you will find the you know wide mention of the survey S R. Right. I yes, think, sir. Uh, yes. Hindu and uh, both Indian Express uh, quoted widely. Yes, sir. So this uh, UDISE survey that you are talking about, the, is it published annually? Uh, that I have to see. You know, that I cannot say. But because uh, because say. why there would be a tendency to go to these surveys is because of uh, the paucity of data or the paucity of releasing these uh, you know reports uh, every annually. Probably these might not be uh, available annually. Uh, that I cannot say, you know. Uh, I'll check. I check. You know, I think key indicators are not published every year, so uh, this this survey should not be happening. Gen generally, you know, 
survey survey i think uh, i have to see you know where, where no problem you can see okay <laughs> now see uh, people generally say you know people are you know sr survey found that uh, indian student are not good in reading and writing that is fine but but what what are the real finding the real finding was this this is the way you know an administrator has to write what they found found that 50% grade 5 student not able to read or read or arithmetic skill of grade 2 this was their finding you know uh, uh, one should not write a loose statement there you have to write write exactly what happened in that survey which has been you know being quoted in newspaper 50% of grade 5 student not even able to read and write of skills of grade 2 is that fine abhishek yes sir okay this is the way uh, then you know you know a, a popular education surveys are they were proven 2016 before that they were you know they were pisa in 2009 after that so this is the journey this shows your historical sense first was pro then came pisa and then now it is sr okay but these are the civil society surveys and geo surveys okay now guno sub new education policy 2016 has mentioned it okay even 2019 you can mention that so this is a you know mass assessment process introduced in gujarat and it is you know is assess 3 hours we have mentioned 3 hours you know reading writing and arithmetic and you know now similarly you know mass assessment process should be you know uh, you know represented in across india you know other states should also follow this example teacher absenteeism is very high in india this is almost 25% per day you know one fourth teacher are missing okay see ilawada high court made this observation see this makes sense what the high court order public up public servants should send their children to public schools only any idea why the court is saying this thing sir just to uh, because mainly it is the public servants who are working in those schools and when their own children will go uh, to the uh, education institutes they will uh, you know make efforts to make their education in public Co- schools better Co- but in you know, quality because otherwise what happens you know you know they have a tendency to you know to send you know to private schools right correct and you know quality in private education suffers so public school suffers right so that's why you know in fact you know uh, there should not be any private school i think if you know if india although don't write a statement like this in upsc but if there is no private it, at least still primary education primary or secondary education you know there is no private uh, education uh, private school then you know health health facilities you know let a person die but, but not not a, not a open a you know a private health clinic so gradually you know gradually there will be pressure to improve the inequality of uh, education and health at primary level true sir okay because if, uh, if somebody will die you know because because of uh, non availability of uh, uh, good uh, public health facilities you know one day pressure will come from the society so all that government administrative machinery will be forced to improve the primary health and education facilities but no, now what is happening due to this private you know uh, health and education facilities you know only some people are getting and you know you know other other, other do not get that facilities because of paying capacity then rashtriya madhyamik shiksha abhiyan uh, any any idea for for what for what university this is conducted sir for what you know uh, which particular university is this uh, this abhiyan is rashtriya madhyamik shiksha abhiyan sorry not universities but what is the sense of this abhiyan sir this is basically for secondary education right Se- second education right yeah. you know madhyamik shiksha abhiyan is for, for sab shiksha abhiyan is for primary education this is for secondary education second yes sir. okay what is this, what is the target of universal retention by 2020 okay it would not be achieved how it, you know it is not happening in primary education okay <laughs> aim of what is the aim of universal secondary education by 2007 this no sort also achieved okay it seeks 27 75 25 for funding patterns that is clear 75% by you know central 25% by state okay 
I think it should be other way. Uh, 75 by... No, center should be 75%, right? Yeah, center should be 75%. Yeah. And then, then here also 58% higher secondary schools are privately managed. Can you see in, the, you know, at, uh, you know, there also the situation, you know, almost 60%, right? Yes, sir. So, so all this give you a broad picture of, you know, primary education in India, you know, and secondary education. So see, this is what the key indicator of education says. Of all the student enrolled, 50% are in humanities, 30% in science, 20% in commerce. Okay. Majority of rural students attended primary schools. Rural students, see, the majority, right? But only 30% in urban area. See, what rural students can do? They are only private, private schools, so they will go to public schools only, right? Sure. Nearly, nearly 63% till upper primary, you know, they had midday meal program. This, this is fine. Okay. Okay. Now 26% attended private coaching. So th these are facts. You will not get, you know, uh, get, get opportunity to write these facts in UPSC. Okay. You, uh, there, is, there is time only time and space only for ideas. But, you know, reading this document, you know, gives you a sense. For example, when you have this uh, understanding in prelims paper, paper, you would be able to, you know, eliminate an option. Okay. You know, uh, that understanding is important. Okay, Vishak? Yes, sir. So, uh, you know, so similarly, 11% person age 5 to 29 in rural never enrolled. Okay. Can you see, you know, how grave, you know, this. See, now World Bank, what the World Bank mentions, 70 lakh children. In World Bank mentioned 70 lakh or, uh, you know, key indicator mentioned 92 lakh. You know, they have ne the big challenge. You know, because they have never enrolled in school and they are mainly from the marginalized social group. Okay, one level. Right. Similarly, 6% in urban area and 30% discontinued dropout of a school in 5 to 29%. Okay. Okay. Now see, you know, this is the government services. The rural area, the major region for not enrolling was, can you, can you believe this? Not interested in education. See, you know, this is the, you know, you can write this thing in UPSC. Mm -hmm. Even you, if, if you remember Niti, Niti Ayog, you know, they also conducted a survey, Niti Ayog agenda document, okay, 2016-19. They, the, the farmer were not adopting, you know, farm insurance, you know, agriculture insurance, because they were not interested in that. They were not aware of it. So, see, even financial constraint is 30%. For, you know, if you send to public school, there is not much financial constraint, but the major is, you know, inspiration, innovation, you know, motivation, not interested in education. They cannot visualize, you know, a, a poor person, you know, they, they, you know, their family has never been educated. So how they can visualize the, you know, benefit of education. And they, they might just see it as an expenditure rather than mm -hmm. an, 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 yeah. an investment. You know, one more hand in fields, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, here we have mentioned, you know, GER, gross enrollment ratio, okay, is more than higher, uh, more than, uh, high, uh, you know, greater than 100 sometime because what is, what is the ratio indicate? Total enrollment in primary 1 to 5, okay, regardless of age, but here, you know, the denominator is 6 to 10 years. So, in numerator, there will be, you know, some senior citizens. Is, is that fine, Abhishek? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So that's why GER, you know, reports mention when the reports mention that uh, GER is more than 100. So what it simply means that in numerator, they are, you know, some senior citizens. Okay. Yes. Those who are compl completing their primary education, but in denominator, we take only six to 10 years. Okay. Okay. Now this is the, you know, this is the NUPA. NUPA is National University for Education, Planning and Administration. This conduct uh, that UDISC survey. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. This is, you know, uh, this is also a fact, but, you know, as, as I, I think as a bureaucrat or aspirant, you should know it. Okay. Now, you know, this thing you can read or you may not. This I will not understand, you know, take it very important. Whatever you pay, you need, you know, with this understanding, I'm sure you can write not only you pay answer, but also, also essay regarding education. This gives you a holistic picture. But uh, even then, if you want to, you know, add some extra point, uh, 
you know there was a book by amartya sen india uncertain glory but again see using words like an uncertain glory india you know i, I would not recommend to use uh, in upsu okay but you can drive ideas from there what are the ideas you know they talk about the centrality of education okay for, for example there was a quote you know uh, 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 what what ravindra tagore says in my view the imposing tower of misery which today rest on the heart of india has its soul foundation in the absence of education right see how important is education this is our you know poet novel laureate has said okay yes so, sir so so in upsc you would not be able to re- recall this statement so but you can say even tagore recognized the centrality of education you know so this way you can write okay then you know there is a fundamental code of education in japan you, similarly you can say there should be fundamental you know code of education in india you know like japan we should adopt fundamental code of education in what it says no community with illiterate family and no family with an illiterate person you know uh, abhishek do you remember you know understand how you can use this statement you psc yes sir fundamental code of education for india with a mission no community with illiterate family no family with an illiterate person okay japan achieved you know full literacy by 1910 okay then nalanda came into for, for uh, 400 ad oldest university okay where in european university like bologna in when you write it oxford 1967 cambridge okay so this shows historical sense you know how old is nalanda in 480 okay now nalanda is being reestablished you know by east asia summit okay and you know bakhtiar khilji attacked nalanda in okay khilji did many uh, naughty things okay khilji was a naughty boy okay <laughs> like that he did many things you know not only attacked monks in nalanda but Uh, then qs no do uh, this is the you know ranking you can mention yeah, okay so n- nowadays you will mention only what the uh, uh, hrd is running that uh, wh- what is that uh, framework national national uh, do you remember that framework national educational quality framework something like that i forget yes. it, but okay but uh, Uh, at international level you can mention qs world ranking okay then yes. times higher education group ranking okay they are culturally biased okay then large proportion of the children going to schools are first goers okay the development of aspiration this is important see when you say that uh, 33% you know are not interested in education 33% are not interested in education what you can say because the development of the aspiration is missing because they are not realizing the you know what difference education can make to their life okay so if you use phrase like development of aspiration that is important similarly okay learning learning achievements learning achievements are enabler of growth rather than year of schooling so you know so that's what you know we started with the you know with the quote you know india's problem is learning not schooling in the first page right yes sir india's problem is learning not schooling so similarly you know even the last you know last line is the same thing you know so learning achievement is okay learning achievement are enabler of growth rather than year of you know learning how much a student learn in school that is that will decide growth rather than year of schooling so okay, okay vishesh this is what we have to say for primary education then yes. uh, uh, please go through the next document in the meantime for higher education and in the next class we will start for uh, health and all those things okay sure sir sure sir